All right, I want to get to the Mavericks. We've been, of course, following the story there. Former Chief Diversity Officer and Vice President of Human Resources at AT&T. Her name is Cynthia Marshall, and she was introduced as the Mavericks interim CEO. She's jamming to Ain't No yep. Mountain High Enough in that clip. She said that's her song. They put it out there at the game for her. <laughs> Ain't No Mountain High Enough. She is such a super impressive woman. I have to yeah. say she is no nonsense. She went to the Mavericks staff. She outlined three primary areas of focus. She wants to address the franchise's issues with an independent investigation, cultural transformation, she's calling it, and operational effectiveness. Mike, she says she wants to be the model. How do you feel? Do you think she can really do this? Do you think she can clean up the Mavs? Because we've seen the problems there run very deep. I applaud Cuban for hiring her. I right. think it's a great hire. First of all, we talked about that off, <laughs> off air. I think it's a great hire for him. And yes, I think she can. They know what problems need to be addressed. Now, you put someone in her, what, she, what she's capable of doing in place to do it, she'll check those boxes and make sure it gets back. And, and, and Cuban wants that. I mean, this is. The, I mean, it's it's a big. It's a big for the NBA. It's big for Dallas Mavericks. It's big for everybody. So they will solve this problem. And it's a great hire. We don't really know everything that went on in the in the, in the Mavs organization. We do know that Mark Cuban has admitted mistakes and he promised to fix it. And this doing this is a pretty impressive step in order to do that. And so I give Mark Cuban credit for going out and backing up at least the words that he said immediately. Absolutely, after. and I've said this, look, we see uh, when situations like this happen and scandals like this happen, sometimes the men who are in power try to deny everything is wrong or say that their point of view is the only valid point of view. Mark Cuban has not done that. Nope. He has gone forward and said, I made mistakes, this is a big screw up, we need to fix it. You get credit for that. You don't get a parade <laughs> for saying I'm sorry after you've got caught. But I do think that this is, is really a good step forward. I would like to see the rest of the NBA take some of these similar steps too. Look at their own organizations and see if they need to make some supplementary hires because it's not as if in the other 29 teams this isn't going on anywhere yeah. else. This is not just a Dallas problem.